Okay, I'm gonna do a uh, video real quick for this 19, uh, it's like a 94 Jeep, Jeep Wrangler uh, Sahara. It'll work on an 87 and 95, bolt on any of those years, and you can also swap it for a uh, CJ as well. There's a couple modifications, very easy to do. Uh, I gotta go with a grade C on this guy, even though I love to see it as a grade A. We thought it was, but when we got it all stripped down, it definitely uh, has a couple spots. You can see the dimples in it here. Uh, probably somebody had pulled this at one time. There's a little bit of roughness there. Uh, it's virtually rust free, but not all the way. It does have a little bit in it. Um, this is just surface all through here. Paint's peeling a little bit. This was underneath that fender flare. It's got a little bit of a lift there on it. Uh, it will save you about $1,000 for a grade C versus a grade A. So if it's something you can work with, I would definitely jump on it. We don't have any other ones this clean um, that are grade C. So there's some surface there too. And definitely is uh, bubbling there. You can see as I pull that. But if you also, if you look, if I can get this off here. You look, it's solid behind it. There's no holes all the way through. Uh, definitely be a place you'd want to sand down. There's the back of it there. Uh, the back side underneath there, that's all clean, nice and good. Um, going up the side here nice and clean through here nothing major popping out on any of this stuff and then all this is good now there is one place and it's actually a place that discouraged me from having it a, a from a, a c to a b tub um it's got a little bit of surface back in here this is all stuff you should be able to take a grinder to and just really wipe it out fairly easy with one or two swipes over it all oh, this is okay. You can see a little bit of a ding there. This is nice and straight up through here. Uh, let me dump it down, or I should say not dump it, but lower it down here. And I'll show you the inside. The inside is perfect except for one spot. It's right behind it. It's right underneath where the roll cage mounted. But before that, nice clean fender or firewall. Cowls are nice and clean. You can see that. Real nice paint on all that. I mean, you could almost just bolt this thing on and go if you have a green one you're looking for one. Uh, floorboard up here is nice and solid. Got a little water from when we washed it earlier. That floorboard is solid as well. It's surface, but no, not even really bad scaling on it. That over there is starting to eat, and I'll, th I'll get closer. This side here, right underneath that roll cage. Roll cage, honestly, was solid under, and the bolts all pulled out on this side. Um, but underneath, we pulled it off. And it does have a, a piece of steel down there that's nice and solid, but this piece I probably... I, I, if nothing else, cut it out. You don't need, the roll bar covers it, so uh, bolt hole there you want to drill out. Those two on the, those are your uh, seat mounts. Uh, coming back to the back side, this is nice and clean. Uh, back through here is clean. And then you got a surface area here, again, just like that other side. Uh, solid on the back, you've seen it earlier. Um, and that, so uh, here's that piece here, and it's and just in the corner so again i i would get it out of there so it minimizes it uh but I, I, other than that i wouldn't do anything those two seat mounts are cracked so you want to spot those in um this one's starting to do it here there it's not rust it's just where they crack and what happens is they get loose and instead of somebody tightening it like they should they don't and that seat starts rocking and eventually it literally cracks the metal so uh you can see it on this one it did it real good so it's for these are simple fixes this is kind of common in them but um we do do grade a so this one i'm going to put up for uh 800 bucks plus shipping um a grade a you're looking at 1800 plus shipping and uh those grade a sell extremely quickly well so do these as well so um if there's any questions comments concerns you have please give us a shout it's 303-666-9020 again that's 303-666-9020 my name is jeremy jeeps unlimited here north of Denver, Colorado, rust free, well, virtually rust free. Um, we don't use salt on the roads, uh, so we don't get the rust problems that most of the states have. And uh, we don't have an ocean near us, so we don't have to worry about salt water. And it's super dry up here, it's a high mountain desert. So you can see all my tubs in the back. Believe it or not, there's only maybe two or three of those that are YJ. Majority of those are TJ and a couple JKs. So we do have those parts as well in our wheels, tires, uh, axles, um, leaf springs front grills fenders this is one we're parting out here this is another yj this is actually probably a b-tub uh it has until we pull this floor i can't tell you exactly what it has but this is another one going to be available it does have one spot on it right there uh but other than that that thing is is clean um and my grade a i just sold today so now uh, b is looking anywhere from 12 to 1500 just depending 
Um, so grade C is definitely the cheapest if that's kind of what you're going for. Uh, then uh, that one should work for you. All right. Again, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot.